Hi everybody, Libra Anarchy here. I thought I would give you something to look at this time. These are my favorite dice. They're they they're speckled, dark blue of various shades, and they have obviously white numbers. Um, and I have some favorite Dirk's dice and stuff, and I have some percentiles I really like. But as far as like just your regular set. For a D20 system, this would have to have to be my favorite. Although I have a fair amount of other sets, and I have certain D20s that are bad luck and good luck, and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, and I have just certain sets that don't do too well for me. But so far, this set's generally done pretty well. <laughs> Like I have this purple marble-y set, it's very beautiful, but it's just, it, it, it doesn't roll well for, for me, it doesn't like me, we don't get along. Anyway, so, moving right along. This video has <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing to do with tabletop role-playing, although it will certainly sound similar, because it, indeed there are some people who do role-play in the fashion in which I am going to talk about. So there was a fellow on YouTube recently, um, he was uh, reading a letter that somebody else had sent him and the person who sent him the letter was claiming to you know be on like the dark side of the force or something and have dark lords and be this great and powerful, or claiming to be some sort of great and powerful demon and you know, part of this grand conspiracy of something, 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 yeah. Something, something, something dark side. Yeah, okay, Family Guy reference, but anyway. So, I sent him a PM essentially explaining what I'm going to explain to you guys. There's a name for what this person is doing. It's called drama. That's all it is. Now, even as far back as high school, in fact, I would say even as far back as middle school, I've had an interest in the occult. But middle school was more like, um, well, as I matured, it became more of an interest in mythology and stuff like that. But um, a lot of, um, very early on, my interest in the occult was like, oh, it's forbidden, it's bad, therefore, I am attracted to it. Only what I was attracted to was what the Catholics told me was a cult, so, you know, I, I, <laughs> I spent a year or so thinking that alts were satanic or something, but, you know, I was like 12, <laughs> 11 or 12, you know, yeah, well, I mean, we all have that phase, right, but, you know, even in high school when I was interested in different religions and, um, just sort of interested in what different people thought about things like magic and God and, prayer and meditation and OBEs and just, you know, looking into all this stuff. And I still do. Um, I was... Uh, fucking... What was I going to say? Um, I can't tell you in the course of just openly being interested in this stuff and just occasionally talking about it like, oh, I saw something on the History Channel, blah, 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 blah. Or something like that or hey I you know I saw something um you know I heard something I read something on the internet that said blah 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 and I thought that was an interesting idea like oh you know I heard that some people think that the what we would consider gods were actually alien beings the ancients worshipped as gods blah 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 yeah stuff like that you know you you're if you're open about this stuff people will come out with the weirdest goddamn responses. And so I can't tell you how many times I have had, ha I've had people threaten to curse me, invade my dreams, you know, eat my soul, that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, just all kinds of crazy shit. Or I've had people try to convince me that they're dark, scary, wicked, monstrous things. And I've had people try to convince me that there are the, these great, high-minded, wonderful, ascended, spiritual beings, blah-da-da-da-da. Um, in fact, there was one person who 
Um, she was just a manipulative bitch, and if I wasn't interested in spirituality, and I was instead interested in fucking, I don't know, football or something, she would have used that. But my, at the time, I had really low self-esteem, and this person also had low self-esteem, but she had learned better how to manipulate and how to pour herself out for attention, and I fell for her hook, line, and sinker, and I was impressed for a little while, thinking that she was some high and mighty spiritual whatnot. In a way, I still wish her well, because I understand that she had to have been genuinely fucked up, and I would say to her face that she was clearly genuinely fucked up. But, having said that, you know, I was fucked up enough to be on the other end of it, you know, I, I was too fucked up to tell her, eh, piss off, have a nice life, bye-bye, I'm not scared. And this is a person who had, who claimed, oh, I've given somebody cancer, blah, 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 because she told, um, blah, 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 blah. And it, you know, it, it wasn't like I was just gullible. I mean, if somebody just, I don't know, it, it, it wasn't just, it, it, it's a little like uh, people who join cults, because it wasn't just like somebody came and said, Oh, give me your money, or, you know, oh, I'm really powerful and neat, and I just believed it. Um, it was more like I wanted acceptance and approval, and I was willing to kind of pretend to believe anything, and tell myself that I believed outlandish things that I really didn't. Uh, basically because I, I was willing to give up uh, my own sense of, sorry, people are coming on and off Skype. I was uh, willing to give up my own brain in order for this person's acceptance. Now, not every case was a, a case like this, but I've run into so many people that claim to be really high or really scary or, or or people who claim to be always under psychic attack. Um, we've had tons of those. And and then and since I logged on the internet, like I I it was about ni like nineteen ninety six when I really started getting into the internet. Um I was never really into the bulletin boards and the MUDs, but you know, when the World Wide Web hit yeah, you know, I was already researching different religions and in various chat rooms, New Age, whatever. A lot of New Age, a lot of Baha'i, a lot of Buddhist chat rooms, because they were accept a lot of Wiccan chat rooms, because they were accepting toward toward people of every faith, so I could get interesting conversations from all angles. But the internet just opened up the floodgates for just ridiculous, retarded claims. And basically what goes on in any situation like this is it's just people wanting attention. Um, there are many pagans who are just, you know, very seasoned pagans and very level-headed pagans who have had experience with communities erupting in stupid things called witch wars. And in their most innocuous form, they are exercises in sheer hilarity, but in their worst form, you can actually have people get really, really emotionally scarred. I mean, like, you know, actually left traumatized, not because somebody waved their arms around and said ooga booga and lit some candles and, you know, danced around and stuck pins in a doll and, and burned an effigy of somebody, but people get very manipulated and there are, there are have certainly been situations as within any religious community where people have manipul been manipulated into sleeping with somebody they don't really love and so they end up you know dealing with the consequences of drama and, and, and mind you I'm not suggesting that every person has to love everyone they sleep with if you are okay with the one night stand type thing and you don't want any love attached to it, that's fine, that's your business, but um, if you think that love is attached to it and you're being manipulated when there is no love, then that's not okay. And 
There have been situations where people honestly and truly think that they are cursed and truly think that they're under attack and under a spell uh, put on them by very powerful leaders and the occult community. Now, there have been, and, and I'm not trying to characterize the occult community as this because it's not, okay? But there have been situations where shit like this happens. And when it's funny, it's, you know, an internet forum or something just kind of erupts into stupid drama and people are, like, threatening to curse each other or actually trying to curse each other. Um, I, I, I have a friend online who told me this story about um, a, some occult shops um, up in his town where <laughs> you had the stereotypical fluff bunny shop and the stereotypical pretentious, oh, I'm so dark and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, and they were, <laughs> they would drive by, you know, shouting curses and stuff. Why? Because they were just, they were, it wasn't because they were involved in any dark, ooh, spooky stuff. We have a Mr. Spooky here on YouTube. He's not involved in any real dark, spooky stuff. He's being Mr. Spooky. And likewise, these people, they're, they're just being, you know, they're just being nitwits. <laughs> You know, I mean, so you get, a, what, what I'm saying is you get a lot of it, and you don't have to worry about it, and all the curses that have been supposedly put on me just for my having existed and maybe disagreeing with somebody on the internet, or having um, upset somebody who thinks that I told her ex-boyfriend a secret or something, or for having, um, you know, basically... I mean, for having emancipated myself from a really manipulative person, you know. I never got cancer, by the way. Um, yeah, I, these things never came to fruition. Uh, this is drama, and that's all it is, and you don't have to worry. So whether you're the person who actually made the video, who I actually sent the PM to, saying, look, you don't worry about this. It's not real. It's drama. Relax. It's okay. You don't need to fret over it. I promise you, it's just, it's drama. That someone's trolling you. They're just dicking around with you. That's it. You know, whether you're that person or any or any other person, um, it's drama. <laughs> you know, you could have somebody manipulating you, or you could have somebody just trolling you and playing around with you just to make you act silly. You may be dealing with a genuinely crazy person who really believes in some really, really, really unusual stuff about their own, grand, you know, delusions of their own grandeur, I, the possibilities are endless, but I, I assure you, you don't have to worry, you don't have to be afraid, and if you are afraid, as in, like, if somebody actually is stalking you for real, don't go to some kind of internet forum or something, then go to the police, and they're not going to persecute you because you're in a coven or something. If somebody's actually stalking you, or do you think if someone's actually going to hurt you, go to the police. Okay. Well, so thanks very much for listening if you got this far. And know thyself.